Hi, I'm Steve Perkins, the Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society. Uh, and today I wanted to talk about this uh, little card here that I found in the archives uh, of the Vermont Historical Society collection. It's a advertisement uh, for the gubernatorial campaign of James Hartness of Springfield. We're in the museum here in Montpelier next to our two cabins display, which is of the same time period um, of this card. Now, James Hartness was a Republican, and uh, in the primary, he was running against Percival Clement um, from Rutland. And similar to what we saw this year, and now, of course, I'll put us in time, we're in 2022, uh, the primary took, uh, took a place of primacy, shall we say, um, in everyone's mind, because at the time, um, the decisions of who was going to uh, hold office was often made in the primary because Vermont was a very Republican state. Um, so these two gentlemen uh, were Republicans. Um, Hartness ran on uh, the, the platform that Vermont was losing its young men and to be successful it must keep its young people in the state and it must provide jobs for those young people. And it can provide those jobs through infrastructure, through uh, promoting business, through building factories, um, and making people proud of where they live. Does this sound familiar? I feel like a lot of Vermont's, um, uh, I guess we'll say problems, but um, hurdles that we face as a state are very cyclical. Uh, we saw this even 50 years before this campaign in 1920, but it certainly came up in 1920. Vermont was uh, depressed and uh, agriculture was not really um, supporting all of the people in the state. And so, yes, young people would grow up on the Vermont far hill farms uh, and move away. And James Hartness felt that the idea of uh, industrialization, he was an industrialist himself. He, he made his fortune. He invented a, a turret, flat turret lathe, uh, which was used in the Precision Valley um, near uh, Springfield in Windsor County. Um, but uh, we still hear that today. How do we keep our young people uh, in the state? Now, if you visit us here in the museum, you can visit our two cabins exhibit. And um, we talk about what Vermont wants people to see about the state and how we're driving people to the state. And on the other stand, the lived experience of people in the state. I did want to read a few pieces off of this pamphlet for you because I think you'll find it very exciting. Um, it's a bullet pointed Hartness Plan of Progress. Now, of course, you could get the full plan if you would like, and you could find that in our library, but this is the bullet pointed piece. There's a lot of pieces on here, um, but I'll give a highlight. Uh, this is a drive for better conditions. It supplements the good opportunities already in the state. It aids the farmer and the merchant and many others who desire a prosperous and desirous citizenry. It draws people to Vermont and greatly increases the revenues of the state as well as the incomes of individuals. It stimulates invention. It makes men and women of strong fiber. He mentions women here. That's something else that was part of this campaign. Percival Clement, who as governor, uh, refused to call the legislature into session to ratify the 19th Amendment of the United States Constitution. Uh, this, of course, gave women the right to vote. Um, so this amendment was ratified without Vermont's vote. Um, but of course, by the 1920 election, women had the right to vote and Hartness appealed to that and solidly won the, the women vote. Um, he also writes here that Last but not least, it provides a large number of the best opportunities for our youth right here in Vermont and will keep our boys and girls in Vermont. Vote for the plan and the man, James Hartness. Of course, on the front of the pamphlet, it says keep our boys uh, in Vermont. So thinking about Vermont of the past and Vermont of today, there are many pieces. Um, that are analogous and as, as we always say, an understanding of the past builds better communities. If you'd like to learn more, visit us at our library and archives in Barrie or here at the Vermont History Museum in Montpelier or online or through social media.